the conversation on the left revolves almost exclusively around identity, which is, in other words, me. Narcissism is about me. Yeah. But you kept talking about economics. That used to be the central conversation on the left, or in America, actually. Yeah. Why, why no more? Uh, because the establishment has learned how to co-opt identity politics to make to put the brakes on economic progress and justice. So they, the, so the joke I do, so if you want to, if you want to help, uh, I, I would say if you want to help black people, nothing would help them more than uh, free college, student loan relief, and Medicare for all, and a living wage. You want to help them? That would be the way to help them. Uh, but Joe Biden comes in, does none of those things, but he makes Juneteenth the holiday. So do you understand what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, I do understand. So that that's they're all it's all signals, but there's no substance. We're signaling that we want to help the minority community, but we're not actually helping them. So that's what identity politics is. It's a big diversion. And the joke I say, you know, if it was 1860, the Democrats would be bragging about their first transgendered slave owner. And so what I'm trying to tell people is that when you vote for them, when you vote for somebody inside the Democratic Party, no matter what they say, no matter what they believe, they're going to go along with Nancy Pelosi. And Nancy Pelosi goes along with Goldman Sachs and Raytheon. So when you're voting for someone inside the Democratic Party, you're voting for Goldman Sachs and Raytheon because they are not standing up to those people. So the idea that we have progressives inside the Democratic Party, it's actually more deleterious to the progressive movement to have them there. Why is that, Jimmy? Because it gives people a false impression that there's somebody in government fighting for you, that there's one of the parties that are kind of on your side, and they aren't. And the quicker people realize that, that both parties are not on their side, they only serve the oligarchy, we are in fact in an oligarchy, your democracy was stolen way before Trump, until that happens, we won't ever have real change. But what about Ocasio-Cortez? She's on Instagram. <laughs> Ocasio-Cortez campaigned on a floor vote on Medicare for All. And she campaigned on creating what she called a ruckus, meaning you have to stop being polite. This is a quote. You have to stop being polite. We tried being polite, and it got us nowhere. And it wasn't until we started acting out and speaking impolitely that we even created the circumstances for change. That's what she tweeted. So I'm just doing what she said. So I started to put heat on people like AOC and Rashid Tlaib and Ro Khanna and all the, the, the Justice Democrats and the squad to force the vote. And they said I was committing violence against them with my words. That's how scared they got. <laughs> Were that's, you? That's how scared. You really telling them to, to do what they ran on? That's violence? That's how afraid they were. And all the things. So they had people write hit pieces on me in the Daily Mag uh, New York Magazine, Newsweek, BuzzFeed. They tried to shut me down and squelch me. They made me trend on Twitter negatively. They, but they couldn't shut me up. And they couldn't stop me. And they don't know what to do with me. Because, again, all the usual... They have Wikipedia putting smears on me that I can't get rid of. CNN's calling me. It's unbelievable what's going on. Just a comedian, a pothead comedian in his garage. What you can do when you want to tell the truth inside journalism and politics. And you can create a ruckus. And I did. And so now everybody sees that those people are fakers. And they're corrupt. And the reason why I say they're corrupt is not because they take corporate money and do the bidding of corporations, but they're doing the bidding of their own career, right? Their own self-dealing. Yeah. So if I go along with the establishment, I'm going to get a book deal. I'm going to get speaking fees, and I'm going to be in Congress for at least five years, and then I get a pension for the rest of my life. That is corrupt, and that's why they're not pushing back. Because Nancy Pelosi could come in and crush you. Hey, we'll fund somebody in a primary to your left. Just like she did to Joe Crowley, AOC, right? So that's what they're all afraid of. They're afraid of the power of the establishment taking away what little power and uh, that they have in Congress. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.